Hey, I've been asked a whole bunch of questions regarding ultrasonic leak detectors. Can they find a leak on the HVAC system, primarily on the air conditioning system? So it happens I have a redundancy of tools, and I happen to have the AccuTrack VPE-1000. Just the other day, we also pulled out a coil on the warranty. And I've kept the coil. Let's play around and see if we can find a leak with an ultrasonic leak detector. Can it find a leak? How much PSI will it find a leak? How low can it go and still find a leak? So stay tuned and let's have some fun. Here you have the Superior AccuTrack ultrasonic case. Spin it around. We have the ultrasonic uh, leak detector. Comes with a higher quality headphone set. Some isolation uh, tubes to pinpoint some leaks and then if you're into steam traps and bearings and other vibration noises you got this little uh, probe to sense any vibration issues so let's see how this works for a, a AC leak and a evaporator coil we have an N coil by ICP products we're going to use our Testo pressure gauge to monitor how much pressure we actually have in the system. We use Measure Quick to watch that. We're going down here. We have our nitrogen. I'm going to set the pressure on that. And right now, it looks like we're about 200 psi. Let's get our speaker on. And we'll turn the volume up to about halfway. So we have some static here. So again, we're at about 190 PSI on the system. This tool is sensitive. I mean, you rub your hand. You can hear it in the speaker noise. You tap things. Um, believe it or not, you can actually hear your own eyelash blink. I don't know if it'll pick it up. We'll give it a shot. Hear that pulse? That's me blinking my eyes. Doesn't pick up the sound quite as much unless you blow into it. And right now we have it at, let's see, we have it at about 100. It goes through 0 to 255 as far as level. And obviously it's picking some of my P's and B's. So, again, about 190 PSI. I wouldn't say you could just like throw this in anybody's hands. A little bit of feedback from the speaker. Okay, let's move the speaker down. Of course, if you touch anything, it will sound off a little bit, so you got to be careful, especially if you put the straw to isolate anything. Okay, we got something here. Let's 
the volume up a little bit here. Just to make sure you guys can hear it. You definitely have a leak there. Again, you can see just how sensitive it is. Just rubbing your hand, it'll pick up. Let's turn the volume up a little bit higher. Not the volume, but the sensitivity up. I think it's about a 150. So, let's see if we can pinpoint it here. Like I say, it's sensitive. This is nothing more than a straw. So now let's uh, I'm gonna change the pressure. Let's see how low it can go and still pick up that leak. Again, we are still 188 PSI. So we're gonna turn this down and be right back in a second. And we're back at 100 PSI from 200. Let's see if you guys can see that or not, but we got some trees moving, a little windy. It's not interfering with the uh, AccuTrack. And we have this set there at 150. Will it still pick up the leak? I actually hit that bar, so. Still picking up that leak. 50 psi on the pressure. The test of metric quick. We are at 150 on the AccuTrack. Let's see what we find out. So it is still picking up that leak. 50 PSI. We'll reduce pressure and we'll come back again. And we're back. And the test will measure quick. We are now at 20, 20 PSI. We are still at 150 on the Aki track. And let's see what it does this time around. Okay, really nothing there. And we still picking it up. And we're back. We are down to 5 PSI. The AccuTrack is still at 150. 
Let's see what we get. You know where the leak's at? We'll pick it up. We are at 5 PSI. It is still picking it up. Yankee track is still working. The question is how low can we go? And we're back with 2.1 PSI. We'll pick it up. There we go again. Picks it up at 2 psi. Let's put the straw on and see if we can pinpoint a little bit more. Put the straw on. Good enough then. There, the straw does quiet noise down a little bit. It seems the leak is right over here somewhere. I don't think we get it any lower without the accuracy of the gauge throwing me off here. Let's call it one PS. Yeah, see it drops right off. Not accurate. We're gonna call it one psi of pressure. Take the straw off. We're just bouncing back and forth here. We are literally bouncing right at one PSI. Actually, the gauge will not give me anything better. What do we have this time? I don't know if you can hear that, but I got just a little bit. Bring it down by the mic here. Still have a little leak. Gauge is still bounced between zero and one psi. I don't think you get any better. I don't think you can just throw the tool in someone's hands and let them go. Uh, it does take a little bit of skill and working the tool. So one of my backup tools, my arsenal. And again, let's take a look up there. It is windy up here today, yet you don't get any interference here. We'll be back. 
So let me sum this up. The uh, AccuTrack uh, VP1000, which is their, I believe is the highest end they have for our kind of market. Ultrasonically detector does work. Just can't throw it in anybody's hand and let them go. He needs a little time with the tool. Need to learn it a little bit. Got to find the little leaks. Um, used for boilers and pumps and all kinds of bearing noises and stuff like that. Premature uh, maintenance stuff uh, can be done, but it, you just can't let a rookie run around and, and use this tool. It's going to take a little bit of experience. Um, but very impressive. It gets down to, again, we hit that leak still at 1 PSI pressure. So it can be done. We do have some gusts here today, so it's not getting interfered with the gust. Does an excellent job. One of the tools of many in our arsenal of tools to solve all your problems. So check it out. Give it a chance if you're uh, in the trade, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon.